It was an extraordinary sight. Not only so many, but so young. Everywhere you looked, there were children. The streets of the city where America's laws are made, filled with people who want to change them. We want to live. We're, we're going to school to learn, not to be scared that we might get shot. And everyone wants to talk about their thoughts and prayers, and we should pray for the kids. But this is a preventable situation. I'm a teacher and a parent, so sending my kids to school every day. I think about this. Survivors of the Florida high school massacre organized the march, but the fight for gun reform is an old one. Among the crowd, I came across survivors from Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, six and seven years old, when a gunman murdered their friends. It kind of resurfaced a lot of old feelings that we thought were gone, you know, it um, shows us that it's still kind of fresh. Is gun violence something that has changed you forever, would you say? It's a terrible thing. I just, I wish it, I wish it weren't a thing. I wish it never happened. Welcome to the revolution. An awestruck crowd listened to campaigners from around the country. Watch the, here's the everyday shootings. Our everyday, everyday problem. Some new to the spotlight, one with activism in her DNA. My grandfather had a dream that his four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream that enough is enough. You listen to the speakers on stage and the reaction they're getting from the crowd and it's easy to forget they are children. Children who have been forced to grow up. Now, who here is going to vote in the 2018 election? If you listen real close, you can hear the people in power shaking. I caught up with 17-year-old Parkland survivor David Hogg after his speech. I would basically refer to this as a marathon. We just crossed the starting line. Everything that you've seen before this was stretching and prepping for that. And people are going to try moving the finish line. People are going to try tripping you. They're going to try um, cheating. And it's our job to ensure that we make sure those people are held accountable. These teenagers know marching is not enough. They need to vote when they are old enough. In memory of those who won't ever get the chance, one of the most recognisable faces of the campaign said it best without words. Since the time that I came out here, it has been six minutes and 20 seconds. That's the time it took for a gunman to shoot her classmates and then to set in motion a movement these young people believe can make a change. Tessa Chapman, 5 News, Washington, D.C.